to display invoices like this there are few things that you need to do the very first thing go to data service and you have to create a table which contains the invoices because to show this we are going to use entity so let's go to the data service and let me show you the entity which i have created by clicking on create new entity so this is the entity which has got two different fields one it has got invoice number and there is a field called document the document field type is file and the invoice number is a number type okay now um, all you have to do simply create a new field to create such a you know just for learning purpose create this two fields invoice number and the document and document type should be a uh, file okay this should be file type because it will allow you to upload some documents now what i have done here in the data i have clicked on add data and i have added the invoice numbers along with the document which are pdf files okay the moment you click on add data it will give you an option uh, if you have selected file type right so it will give you the option to upload the doc uh, document to the entity so this is the invoice table now this invoice table in your uapath apps you have to add this entity by clicking on entity and you can see i have already added this entity you can select that entity and add it so invoice table is the entity which has these many data has been already added okay it has a pdf attachment and an invoice number the two column table okay so this is the background now to design this so let me go back to the page where we will be designing it drag and drop or drop down now in the drop down i have already taught in the drop down all you have to do put the entity name just click on the equals to symbol you know type the equals to symbol and then select the entity so here there are multiple entities that i have so i'm going to select the invoice table entity and in the column field just drag and drop the column which contains the invoice number so for me it is invoice number okay so this is the only setting you, have, you will be doing in the drop down now here you will be dragging and dropping a document viewer so document viewer is another control simply type in the display control it will be there okay so document viewer drag and drop this now in this document viewer this is the this is very important okay? how to write the function is important so let me show you let me delete everything so write a equals to symbol scroll down and look for the function lookup okay lookup means it will only give you uh, it's more like a filter but it will only give you one row of data so for that i am using a lookup instead of a filter now here in the lookup i'll put open and close parenthesis and i have to mention the source from where i'll be pulling the data so the source for us will be nothing but the table right the invoice table so i'm going to click on this table then i'll put a comma and then start the open and close square brackets inside this i will say in the, in the invoice table right in the drop down the user will be selecting the invoice number right so i'm saying in the entity there is a column called invoice number this invoice number value should be to put a comma equals to comma should be equals to which one whatever is selected in the drop down so i'm selecting drop down dot selected value okay it is going to get the drop down value let's say the user is selecting 100 you know whatever the invoice number is the moment user selects that it will see if the invoice number in the entity or the table matches with the value selected in the drop down it will filter that entire row now we don't need the entire row we only need the document column from the entity so put a dot here go to the entity once again and there's a document column right there's a document column so in the document column we have the file pdf file so i'm simply clicking on this so this is what the syntax you have to write and you are done now if you hit on preview it will load blank now i'm going to click on let's say anything you know let's say 104 i'm going to select you can see it is fetching the data from the entity and within no time it is going to show the invoice in this document view so that's about it thank you guys for watching we are going to see lot many such examples so stay tuned and let's move on to our next topic